So what I have right here in my hands is a renewed Apple Watch from Amazon. You may not know what that means. It's basically refurbished, which means it's used, but Amazon looked at it, made sure everything was okay, maybe updated a few things, maybe not. And now they're selling it as renewed, refurbished, whatever you wanna call it. When I bought this, I made a whole video on it. I'll put a link down below to that. There was a couple things that I wasn't a big fan of. One was that it had a scratch dent, something or other in the casing. And that was just kind of like a bummer with it because you don't want that. But keep in mind, I didn't buy like the best of the best renewed. I did buy a lower tier because I just wanted to see what these lower tiers are like. And then also the battery health on this thing was down to 87. And when I upgraded it to watch OS 10, it really took a hit. Getting through a day got a lot harder. I kept going because I love the stainless steel Apple Watch. I love the look of it. It just looks amazing, especially paired with the link bracelet from Apple. That wasn't the end of the story because just a couple weeks ago, I was going through the settings, changing some things around, and I noticed something. This device, had Apple Care Plus on it. Apple Care Plus is that additional insurance that you can buy through Apple. So if something happens beyond that first year, you can get it replaced. Sometimes you pay a fee, sometimes you don't. I've had a lot of good luck not having to pay the fee. Usually the fee is about 70 bucks. But you know what? I thought might as well ask Apple and see what they would say. See if this little dent on the side that really isn't that noticeable, but still bothered me was good enough to get the device replaced. And guess what? They said yes. Yes! Yes! Come two days later on Tuesday, the device showed up at my doorstep and we're gonna open it, check it out, see what operating systems on it, see what battery health's on it, and just take a close look and see what condition it is. Because with Apple, it's probably gonna be pretty much new. It could even be a Series 8. But you never know with Apple. So let's go ahead, open this up and check it out. So to open a box, I got my handy dandy key set because that's how I do it. So here we go. Cut through right there. And I believe that's it. With Apple, there's usually not too much tape involved. So there we go. I'm opening it like this because underneath here is my information. Oh, this is different. Okay. So normally this is a white box. I've, I've replaced the Apple Watch before, but this is all part probably of their more eco-friendly carbon neutral system. This is definitely a recycled material. At least it definitely looks like it. So. All right, let's go ahead and open it up and see what is inside. Oh, look at that, need help. That's cool, that's new. And yes, a stainless steel Apple Watch. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pop the side, open it up, move that to the side. You can take a look. This thing looks brand new. Now it is a Series 7. I'm not sure if you can read that. It's kind of hoping that maybe they'd mess up and send me a Series 8 instead. But Apple still has some Series 7 lying around. But let's go ahead and get it paired up real quick so that way we can look at it and see is the battery at 100% and if it's worthwhile to do something like this because it does cost a little bit to replace your Apple Watch with Apple Care. All right, so the watch should be ready to pair. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the watch. I love this animation and how this works. There we go. All right, so why the device is pairing, I'm not making you sit through the whole pairing process, but what I am gonna do is I'm just gonna ask you, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It means the world to me. If you are subscribed, hit that thumbs up because you guys are amazing. Okay, so now that everything's paired up and ready to go, let's check and see what version of watchOS 10 is on here and also what the battery health is. I'm expecting it to be 100, but you really never know because is it brand new? Is it refurbished? And everything just looks great. Well, let's go ahead, dive in and check. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to check into obviously you can tell right away this is watch os 9 watch os 10 doesn't do this but let's see what exact version of watch os 9 is on here it looks like it is 9.6 
Now, I'm not sure what the latest version of watchOS 9 is, but the one on this device is 9.6. Now that we know that info, let's go ahead and hit back, back again, and then scroll down till we find battery. So right here's battery. Right now I'm at 87% of battery, but here's the thing, battery health. So right there you can see it has 100% battery health which is great to hear so based on the looks and based on the battery health this is a brand new series 7 apple watch so now the real question is should i upgrade to watch os 10 or should i keep watch os 9 on this device because watch os 10 has a lot of changes that a lot of people just don't like vote down below just look with a comment just comment down below watch os 9 watch os 10 with your vote and maybe i'll take all that into consideration because i'm really not sure what I want to do here. And if you don't know what the differences is between watchOS 10 and watchOS 9, I have a video right here. Click right there and you can just get all the info about both of the operating systems. I'll see you over there. Hope you have a great one. God bless.